you guys, welcome back to my channel and happy February. Since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I thought it would really be fun to put together some easy, affordable DIY projects that you can make for your friends, family, loved ones, significant other, whoever it might be. All these gifts are pretty much under $10 each and a lot of them are actually from Dollar Tree. So the first one that I have is a lollipop bouquet. This is a flower bouquet. I used um, one of these pots that comes from the gardening section. They've already got their stuff out in Dollar Tree and I've got Dollar Tree roses. You can stick them into one of the styrofoam balls or floral foam or something like that and put that down in the middle. And then I just use tissue paper. Dollar Tree has different colors and varieties of tissue paper and a package of the little lollipops here and they've got cute little messages. These are, it was one package I used from Dollar Tree and they have little messages, I'm yours, you're special, you know, hugs and kisses, be my Valentine. So I thought this would be really cute to give a flower arrangement and also give something sweet with it. The next one I have that I wanna share with you guys is for a strawberry body sugar scrub. So for this recipe, you're gonna need freeze-dried strawberries, granulated sugar, and coconut oil. You'll wanna crush the freeze-dried strawberries until they're very fine and make a powder out of them. And then go ahead and mix in your bowl one third cup of granulated sugar, one third cup of the freeze dried strawberries, and one quarter cup of coconut oil. Go ahead and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract for a little extra scent, and this just smells so good. And the bonus is that it's all natural, it's really healthy for you, and great for cleaning your skin, getting off dead, dry skin cells, especially in the winter time. And I'm actually just putting mine in a jar from some fruit preserves that I had. And then I made a label for it using these little chalkboard labels. I thought these are so cute. And then I attached it with some packing tape so that it would make a nice smooth cover to really hold it onto the jar well and it would be waterproof this way too so even if you're taking it in the shower i think this one turned out super cute i got the freeze-dried strawberries from dollar tree and it's just got a nice strawberry vanilla scent you can use whatever jar you like um, a mason jar would be fine and i just tied some wooden spoons on the top here with a little bit of ribbon i did use some tape you can see there just to attach it but i, I think this turned out super cute you can label it you can put a name you can put a to from you could put an i love you whatever you want to do i just decided to go ahead and label it with strawberry sugar scrub. For the next one, I went ahead and used these glass jars from Dollar Tree. I love the lids that they have on them that seal. I ordered chocolate kisses and I think these are fudge truffle or chocolate truffle, something like that. I think I ordered it from Walmart online actually. They were like three dollars for the bag of them. And um, you can make a label. So I did this label here. It says kisses for when I'm not around. I thought that was super cute. I saw something like that on Pinterest um, for a label like that. I just used some cardstock paper and just hand wrote on it. And I think this would be really a super cute thing that you could give to your um, husband, boyfriend, significant other, whoever it might be. And they could like keep this on their desk at work or um, you know, wherever they might want a little snack. For this one, I used these mini little chalkboard labels. I don't remember where I got them. I think it might have been in Michael's, like stickers. They were a 99 cent pack, and I'm just not positive where I got them. If it was like Michael's, Walmart, or Target. I think it was one of those places. And what I did for this one was use um, the XOXO gummy candies that Trader Joe's has filled it with those and I think this would be super cute. I know like my dad loves gummy candies, my daughter loves gummy candies, um, my husband does too, so I feel like this would just be really great for anybody that's maybe not a chocolate lover, but might prefer something like a little bit like sweeter and fruitier. The next thing that would make a cute little gift is this candle. It is a Valentine's sprinkle candle. So for the candle, I'm using one of these tall white pillar candles from Dollar Tree. And this one, you can actually see that I did light it before, but I'm just gonna heat the wax in here. I have the jar sitting in some boiling water 
And this other candle holder here is also from Dollar Tree. This is the one that I'm going to use to make my new candle. And what I'm gonna do is coat the inside of it with some corn syrup and then add some sprinkles whatever you like i've got some valentine's themed candy heart sprinkles here and then once that's in there just pour in your liquid wax when that is all melted i was able to pull out the wick and put that back together and add it in the center and then i just kind of leaned it against like a marker pen pencil whatever you have and that should stay in place there and you can just kind of you can use tape if you want as well just to kind of hold it in place and and this cost not more than a couple of dollars to make it was really easy i used the candle from dollar tree and just melted that down along with some candy sprinkles if you want more sprinkles added onto the top, add some while it's still a little bit wet, but mostly set up so that the sprinkles won't all like fall down through the wax. So this would make a really easy, fun addition to um, even a gift if you were giving like a gift card and you just wanted to like a little handmade something to put with that. I think something like this would be really super cute. For the coffee lover in your life, I went ahead and put together a gift basket. I think this one cost $9 to make plus the cost of um, a couple sheets of tissue paper. But if you have a package of that at home, you can just use a few sheets of that for filler. So this is what I have here. I think this would be really nice. Again, everything in here I picked up at Dollar Tree and I just think that this would be just super cute for anybody who likes coffee. You could probably do a tea lovers version if you wanted to do something like that. Dollar Tree does have different types of creamers and things like that that you could include. This really cute coffee dishcloth here. I thought that was really cute. A kitchen towel. They kind of have a matching coaster. So I thought that was really cute. And I don't know if Dollar Tree always has these, but they had these red um, ceramic mugs. And I thought that was perfect. Being that it's Valentine's Day, um, the red tote basket here was also from Dollar Tree. How about some cookies for dipping? I thought that would be a perfect addition as well. They have some coffee. Dollar Tree does have like decaf coffee and stuff like that if you think that something like this one might not be what you wanted. And I included a French vanilla cappuccino packet as well as the mocha cappuccino packet. And then can we just talk about this candle for a minute? You guys, I think that this candle is just for a Dollar Tree item, it smells so good. It's nutmeg, spice, coffee. I guess it's kind of like a fall scent, but I love that scent year round. I thought it smelled so good. And the fact that it has like a little lid like this that just looks like a little coffee cup. Can you see that there? It's just, with like the little wrapper. It's just so cute. I just could not pass this up. I thought it would be the perfect addition to stick into a coffee gift basket. Of course, if you wanted to take it up a notch and spend a little bit more, you could always include a gift card to a local coffee shop that you think the person that you're giving it to might enjoy um, and stick that with like a card or something in the basket as well. So one thing that I think is a really super cute idea is to get items from Bath & Body Works. I think this is really nice if you're doing something like this, especially for like a teen. But one way that I think is a really cute way to package something like this is a lot of times when you order like different makeup and stuff like that, you might get um, the little like cosmetic bags. So I save those and I feel like they're great for putting in small things like this. And like I've got this little one here and it's really cute because you can just go ahead and put your little accessories in here, whatever you might want to include. And it's something that they can use. You could stick a gift card in, you could buy, um, you know, like a shower gel or something to go with it and just put together like a little set like that. And then it's something, I know my daughter uses these sometimes for pencil cases. So you could use it as a pencil case, they could use it for their makeup, they could even use it as like a coin purse, change purse, something like that. And then it would be easy enough to take your little gift set that you've made and just kind of put it down into a little bag like this. Dollar Tree has so many bags. I wanna say this was from Dollar Tree and I think it was a pack of like two or three of them for a dollar. Now this next idea is something that I saw on Pinterest that I thought would be really great to include maybe with another gift or if you've got a bunch of kids that you're giving out stuff to, uh, maybe something you even wanna to send to school. I thought that these little flower petal chocolates would be really cute. You can go ahead and write something on the back like Happy Valentine's Day. And I just thought this was something that would be really cute um, 
even like if you've got kids in grade school that where the, like they send gifts um, and little valentines and stuff in for their friends, I thought this is something that you could easily make like with your elementary child and they could bring these into school for their friends. I thought it would be really cute for that. And Dollar Tree has these in um, the white chocolate peanut butter, in chocolate fudge and caramel filled ones. They might've had a peanut butter filled. Oh, I think they had like a Rice crispy chocolate one as well. So they did have some varieties and I just thought these were really cute and fun for Valentine's Day. All right, you guys, last but not least, this one is a little bit more time consuming and effort, I think, on your part, but it would be really nice for that someone special. The idea behind this is you, you just get a jar. Um, you could use a mason jar. You could pick up something pretty like home goods or something like that. I print it out on, from my computer, just like a little card. You can write your own personal note. This is something I'm gonna give to Mike for Valentine's Day. And I just kind of like customized and wrote my own little note on here. And then with that, I made a little chart. So like you can see here, it has like song lyrics, quotes about love, inspirational quotes, memories of us, reasons I love you. So I thought this would be really cute and fun to make and something that you could do, um, you know, where you have, they can read one a morning for a month. You could do 365 and do it so it's something that the person can read one every day for a year. I just went ahead and did whatever I had that I wanted to write down. I think, I think it totaled like 127 for the size of this. If you can see, I think there's like 127 papers in here. And I thought about to keep going. Um, so I may add some more if I have time to add some more things to it. The jar was getting kind of full already. So I didn't put a number. I didn't specify that it would be, um, you know, 365 things to read, you know, one each morning for a year. I think that's a really great idea, but you probably need a jar like at least twice this size to do that. I don't have that. So I'm just gonna go with this. I think it's really fun and a sweet idea where you can, you know, write down things, quotes that are meaningful, memories that, you know, the two of you guys have together, maybe song lyrics from something that's special to you. And I went ahead and just taped on some um, pretty red ribbon here, and I'm just gonna hang that on here and include that in my gift to him. So I think that pretty much concludes the Valentine's gift ideas that I have for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you're new here and I will see you guys all soon in the next one. Bye.